こんにちは。Elin san went to Japan. <laughs> What a wonderful idea. I can't wait to see that. So today we're gonna react to I went to Japan for the first time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, Simon. You, you should react to that. You should react to this, to that. I'm doing it. Good evening, afternoon, or night, Exolots. For legal reasons, I don't know where you live. Still? Pardon my voice. I am very sick right now. So, it finally happened. 12-year-old me's biggest dream after watching three series of anime、God、and、me. thinking that I was the main character、Oof. of everyone's lives. I went to Japan! Huzzah! <laughs> I feel like this is a milestone in every YouTuber's life. There have been so、go、many Japan vlogs、yes. out there. I wanna go. The reason, Tokyo is basically Coco Melon for the dopamine-deprived folks like me. <laughs> so, without any further ado, And if I do. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let me take you through the trip with me. So, we start off with me、oh. reuniting with my brother who was shipped off to the USA for studies. Shipped off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my boy got mula. The first thing I noticed was how pretty Japanese currency was. Like, look at it. No, it's nice. Making a nice backdrop for my oddly shaped pom pom purin plushie I brought on the trip with me. The plan was to take a picture of him at every stage of the travel because I am unoriginal and saw this trend on Pinterest. Oh! Anyways, I l o v e feet. And before you knew it, it was finally the day of the flight. Here I awake as majestic as Sleeping Beauty, a delicate blossom at dawn. Ah,、oh, so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, my lord. Go put your, your mask back on. Fit. We're going with a big sweater with desaturated rainbow stripes. I feel like、God、I'm wrapped、damn. in a giant fruit roll up. It's amazing. And you might be asking, I mean, oh, Feline, you are so cool and the best YouTuber ever. <laughs> Anyways, where did you get that sweater from? Well, the answer is simple. I, I knew it. I'm sorry, but I, I'm, a skip, I, I'm skipping the sponsor and the ads. Anyways, back to the trip.、Yes. Here I am doing fuck all because I have younger sibling privileges. To this day,、oh. I have no idea how to navigate airports. Like, how do people just know where everything is? You're telling me I'm supposed to read? <laughs> What an outrage! I am making ooh ah <laughs> faces as my brother does everything because I want to feel included as well. He knows、so、what he's doing. I had to live with my dad to handle the check in shenanigans, so I was left to figure out how to put the luggage in with my expert Tetris skills. What? Come on! <laughs> I mean, she got it. After some breakfast and some more walking, we were officially about to board the plane. God! What the f? Suddenly, disaster struck. After、oh. we had gotten all comfy on our seats with my family sitting in a row, the attendant came up to my mom and told her that we had to move because the back of her seat was broken. He was just gonna move my mom、wow. at first, but after knowing we were all together, he moved all three of us also. Two. The middle aisle. Truly the worst of all aisles. Unless a specific situation happened where we had to go through a giant toilet roll in the middle of the sky. What? I saw. Okay, hot take. Please, airport, airplane, whatever. Do like luggage. P- put babies in, in like a suitcase or like, like, a, like a specific place that we don't see or hear them. If I have to fly tw- 10 to 12 hours, whatever, whatever how long it takes. I don't want to hear no single crying baby. I'm here to enjoy my flight, especially if it's my first time. I still wanted the window seat though, because I wanted to lie my head on the walls and look out as if I was in a music video. So、oh. I dipped afterwards. Here I entertained myself with what was truly the epitome of cinema a masterpiece、what、that has forever、Shrek. changed the world of production and made an impact on all future director choices. Lion King, Shrek. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I did some light drawing while the movie played, and after nearly finishing the piece, the artist's power of refusing to commit to anything struck me in the head and I went back to sleep. When I awoke, though, I I watched yet another cinematic masterpiece, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Seven hours the- later, we were finally at Tokyo and we instantly got lost. Yes, Wait, h- how many? Seven hours later, we were finally seven at Tokyo. Seven hours? Oh, yes,、yeah, she's in Malaysia. Got lost. Yeah, it was a mess.、What? We were stuck there for probably over an hour because we couldn't figure out where to go to get the car. To go、the、to、hell? our Airbnb, we went to the front of the airport. We、okay. asked the dude there. He directed us to like the other side of the airport. And、okay. when we went there, the people there told us to go back to where we originally were. And this happened、What? like three times. But、What、we got there in the end. 
This just goes to show you that no matter what challenges lie ahead, there is always the sun after the storm. And she we right. got locked out the Airbnb. What? So basically, the owner told us to input a code into the code thing and that was the only instruction we got to open the door. So we just put the code in and kept trying to yank the door open. At one point, we opened the code box itself, panicked, and then slammed it back shut. As it turns out, the code what? was to open the code box. And inside was, was a, key? a key. We did not see that key when we opened uh, the what? box the first time. We literally opened it saw that there was no wires attached inside but we just closed it back up i guess we all just assumed that technology in japan had become so advanced that all wiring was now telepathic bro, or door bro it depends it depends where you go it depends which airbnb if you take the whole like five star oh shit, Talks, you, I, yeah, we, it might be really you know we would not survive a jigsaw movie anyways God. i was starving at this point it was like 3 a.m at night and i hadn't eaten since 3 p.m oh so we the did vending machine venturing to the local 7-eleven there even the little guy on the pedestrian traffic light was different in malaysia it always shows you the countdown in numbers but mm -hmm. here it was two bars going down which was pretty cool my dumbass just thought what? in numbers but here it was two bars going down which was pretty cool uh, my two bars? just oh. thought it constantly meant we had 11 seconds we sweep through the 7-eleven grabbing more food than oh. you can imagine Ooh. i found some ice creams that i've never seen in typical stores in hell? Asia before especially the ones that i want some cones. there was stuff i've never heard of like cheese and cod how do people think of such combinations but i didn't have time to investigate that the perils of starvation were closing in on me i had to feast and feast i did <laughs> while the rest of my family eight small snacks such as onigiri onigiri huh <laughs> i had a whole plate of pescetti i think this might be my favorite 7 11 Bruh. meal in japan of all time i am craving Bro. it right now as we speak the sauce delicious the noodle texture perfection Yo. the prawns fresh and tasty Yo. <laughs> finally it was time to sleep Usually Yo, food in japan oh boy food and anime which is japanese oh boy it takes Golly. About five AO3 bedtime stories to pass out, but I was so exhausted from the airport Indiana Jones mission <laughs> that I just knocked out instantly. No, no, no like oh, I'm so sleepy. And after four sleep. hours of sleep, it was time what? to get up and going. I was so excited that I didn't what? even spend 20 minutes getting mentally prepared to get up. I just where? jumped out of bed right away to get ready. <laughs> I need to tell you guys this. If you ever go to Japan and stumble upon the 7 Eleven, get their gyoza. It is so good. Like, this might oh. be the best gyoza I've ever had. <laughs> and it's from a convenience so nice, store. Man. This was my fit for the day. We were going to a temple, so I decided to wear something that was longer, you know, more modest. Yeah. I kind of ended up looking like a little pilot boy. Also, I mean, you can dress however you want. Fashion in Japan is top tier. I mean, compared to here. <laughs> Canada, Ooh. <laughs> Japan is like. <laughs> my hair is setting me up because what is this random gravity defying strand? Hello? Like, is that my Wi Fi antenna? <laughs> what is this? What? After my family was finished laughing at my hair apparel, <laughs> off we went to the train station. Honestly, for the first day in Japan, I have never been more stressed than on a train. You see, Bro, me and my family your dad is there. a bunch of yappers. My dad naturally has the volume of a mammoth. My mom whispers via shouting in a raspy tone. And I just <laughs> never stop yapping. Apparently, that's why I became a YouTuber. I've always got stop yapping, bro. it's a problem. But I've gone through a lot of articles on how to be a respectful tourist in Japan. And I noticed the majority of them tells you to be quiet on public transport which makes sense so every time we were squished in there i just held my breath my mom tried asking what stop we were getting off and my brother resorted to using hand gestures eventually after what? a few stops we reached yoyoga where we visited major yoyogi i am so sorry Ooh, for watching bro. that it was Looks lovely so good, like bro. guys i hate to admit it but i think i'm starting to warm up on green like who knew the color that symbolized life was not completely ugly okay you guys win we follow instructions on Bro. how to make the prayers properly my mom got to write some wishes on the envelope and hand it in i saw this insanely well-drawn wish on this plague <laughs> until it pops out what do you mean Oh! 
It's like a pen. Oh, it's in there. Thirteen. Michael Myers, but Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, so it, was um, like yeah. it was a nice place to stroll around, that's bro. for sure. We then I need to go to Japan, man. One day, I'm telling you, one day, bro. I walked on over to Harajuku, somewhere 12 year old me was obsessed with because I really liked the art fashion that came from there. Bro. Oh, my God. oh <laughs> bro. Honestly, I wish my we could Japan would have when been. I was 12. I think I would have been so much more excited then that I would have thrown up. But then again, I definitely would have embarrassed myself because I used to proudly label myself a weep and I joined anime role play servers <laughs> so maybe this is a good thing I mean if you're a weeb there's nothing wrong with that just don't piss me off with it I mean I watch anime weeb watch anime you know I know weeb are like up there like up there with their like passion but if you go to Japan bro who cares who cares what you watch what you do how you dress who cares this was an exciting moment for me because we went Bro. to the pom pom purin cafe yeah, yeah. Damn. if you didn't know purin is my favorite sunder character i have oh, fought God. multiple people over the popularity votes just for him Damn. my pajamas are purin i have a purin shrine my phone case <laughs> is purin my plushies are purin he's just so shapeless and God damn. the line for the cafe was pretty long so we did some shopping nearby while we waited for our what turn the hell? i got some cute zipper like earrings which i am in love with <laughs> let's go the hell? oh what uh. yeah weird earrings saw a pin that looked like my crusty white dog and got some matcha ice cream right. what that's it <laughs> wait right. Oh, that's, that's twice, no? That's <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what is it? Also, the worker in the store, he was super cute. I forgot how to speak. My brother had to order for us. During this, there was an American... <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Also, the worker in the store, he was super cute. I forgot how to speak. My brother had to order for us. During this, there was an American couple next to me that came in and started arguing. So that was great entertainment while we finished our ice cream. Thank you to couples that fight in public. You guys are like the equivalent. Bros. Americans. Of an they go to Japan and argue in public places. Like, shut the fuck. Netflix show during prehistoric areas. Finally, it was our turn for the Purin Cafe. All the witches there were dressed super cute by the way. I love working there just for the uniforms. Every detail was amazing, down Bro. to the little bell you can use to call the waitresses and the Purin butt chairs. One of the oh, waitresses was so astoundingly gorgeous that I once again could not talk and my brother had to order for me. After ordering our food, I went to venture around the place <laughs> before I was greeted by this army of big round Bro. yellow dogs. They probably could smother you to death by just rolling on you. So many of them had been deformed via butts, what a truly tragic life to live. But after I mean... a few minutes, our food arrived. I got the sundae and the soda in my favorite what? flavor, blue. <laughs> This Bro. is so adorable, guys. The power of aesthetics is unreal. Look at this little boo. He's so cute. Bro. He's just sitting there like he's so proud of this dessert and he can't wait for you to try it. His... <laughs> he's been lobotomized. <laughs> I can't really rate the food there because all I really got besides drinks was the sundae. <laughs> so I'd say that's a 6 out of 10, you know. The six ice cream is great, but I'm not a big fan of whipping cream in general. Oh, okay. So it's a biased rating. If you love whipping cream though, definitely try ordering it. There were a few sketchbooks at all the right. site for visitors to draw Purin in. And this one what was a particular favorite of mine. Oh, yeah, because it looks psycho. I got something in my eye. Of course, I had to draw one as representation of my country. Let's go, Malaysia! Okay. Ah, cinta akan negara! Ah. I even put a little humanoid version too. Before we left, I got this fat fuck as a souvenir. What Look at the his little clothes. Oh my god. I love it so much. We did a bit of shopping afterward and I found the clothes that were on 13 year old days Pinterest boards. I tried on this oversized hoodie, but we didn't end up getting it because it was just too big for me. As I for mean... the other clothes, they were so cute, but I couldn't see myself wearing it in Malaysia to lectures. So it was just nice to bro. admire from afar. While we are on this note, Japan has nice fashion, bro. 
But I just want to add, a lot of girls in Tokyo are so good at makeup. Like they are already super pretty. Don't yeah, get me they're, wrong. They're... But you gotta admire the makeup skills. Yo, the workers makeup... at these kind of outfit stores look like they just came out of a TikTok video filter or a Pinterest photo. I, I can't no, see a single Japanese form. people. They look drawn. After looking at the clothes, I returned to my father only to find him holding the longest roll of potatoes I've oh, ever I've seen, seen in that. my life. Jesus. This thing is probably structurally sound enough to build the Eiffel Tower with, and it takes it. <laughs> so good the name was long longer longest and it was very hard to stay mature when you see that plastered everywhere also just another side thing i noticed pigeons in tokyo are very chill like i don't think i've seen a single one fly yet they just walk next to people like they own the street these ones just like, straight up followed me for it's a my street I boy. myself the pigeon whisperer we then arrived at the shibuya crossing the oh, first shibuya. time i've ever seen this was when i was really young watching pewdiepie's japan vlog I never imagined I'd actually see it in real life. At the time, I thought if I was there, I'd definitely just get crushed like an ant. Like, I have no survival skills. I just let the crowd take me. Nah, I got bro, this they Snoopy know where, shirt while we were Love me a Snoopy. Snoopy. And then we queued up for some katsudon. <laughs> Due to the 4 hours of sleep and my jelly-like bone structure, all my battery had run out and I was basically working on autopilot at this bro. point. <laughs> the food was smacking though, it tasted so good. We then went to the mall, saw a giant Pokemon store. I tried desperately to convince my brother to buy this ditto for me with the power of guilt tripping. It did not work. I never really watched Pokemon or played any of the games growing up, so I was just there for the vibes. At first, we went to Nintendo because I finally bro. let the demons overtake me by deciding to get a Switch. I've been putting. Bro, they have. I forgot they have the Nintendo store. it off since lockdown when everyone was flexing their Animal Crossing houses yeah. because I told myself I didn't care. But I did care. I did. I too want to beat up that raccoon. But in the end, we didn't get one because get this bro. they only had the OLED Switch and there were only two color options left for it. Green or darker green? I must be cursed I mean, after fine. making that video years ago, guys. There is no other explanation how this keeps <laughs> happening. We also walked around this giant stationery store, which had the best sticker I have ever seen Bro, in my life. I I'm not bringing my girlfriend there. Stationaries and her is the same thing bro it's it's one universe but a bunch of sticker sheets to decorate stuff with and i'm very excited to say that exolotls are not popular enough to be regularly included in sea themed <laughs> sticker packs look at it it's like an overgrown shrimp i'm glad that yeah. despite being 20 and having my own money i still automatically ask my parents for permission to buy stuff because bro. if you left me alone with a stack of cash i think i would go insane like look at these Obviously, steps do bro. i need them absolutely not do i the even journal nope Will I ever look at them again after buying them? No way! No, do but I do you want them? Do you want to purchase all of them? Yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think about them to this day solely <laughs> because I did not buy them. Afterwards, we got the train station to go back, and you know how when you see your train is there. But by the time it comes into your field of vision, you're still a couple meters away and the door's already open. <laughs> and then you're left with the great decision to make. Do you start running in in hopes to make it? And then um, face the embarrassment of it shutting right before your face and zooming off? Oh, or do man. you walk slowly, having given up on breathing before even attempting to surface the tide? We saw that the doors were already open. He rushed inside, standing still so as epic. he back at me. I knew our parents were still a good 10 seconds away, and there was no way we were making it into those doors on time. So as he stared at me through the windows of the closing doors, all I could do was wave by and then laugh at him as he got zoomed off. Aha, <laughs> we lost our brother in Japan. Wow. <laughs> it's okay, he got off the next stop to hop in the same train as us. Don't ask me what he was thinking, okay? It was so obvious there was no time for our parents to get on the train before it closed. I just chose the wise option of abandoning him in there. After we finally got home, did you think I was done with food? No, of course not. Katsudon was filling, but it was already oh. four hours ago. Bro, if I bring my girlfriend to Japan, she's gonna eat the whole city. <laughs> I am in need of more fuel. So you know where we went? That's right. Right back to 7-Eleven. No, and since I got the touch of the Nero detergent to me, I literally just get the same food every single time. My Bro. brother gave me a mission to find snacks that weren't common in Malaysia, so there I went, the basket in hand. What? Is that? The only word I understand is big. And then everything else is like intense things with the wrestling. Energy juice. Another favorite of mine is the miso clam soup. Mm mm mm, that tasted good. Golly. Ooh, boy. God. This is again the yummiest spaghetti I got. My mom got the chicken there to add with her salad, and guys, 
Oh, the damn. chicken was so good. It was so tender for being something Bro. frozen. We were astonished. I gobbled down my meal within minutes. Nothing could satiate a university student's Bro. appetite when their parents finally come to see them again. <laughs> I also had this jelly that had mandarin slices inside. It tasted amazing. Oh my and then my nose started bleeding. Yeah, fun times. I love having the immune system of an earthworm. This is great. What? So that was it for my first day of Japan. So your nose bleed because you eat too much? I don't want this video to be too long. So let me know if you guys want a I'm... part 2 of our shenanigans. These include spending sure. way too much money at Don Don Donkey, nearly freezing to death, and trying to find Mount Fuji like we were in a Dora episode. <laughs> Next video, I'm probably going to be showing off all the stuff I got from Japan because I'm really excited for that. And trust yeah. me, there is a lot. I am a sheep to capitalism. The moment someone Bruh. creates a somewhat cute odd shaped creature, it's over for me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye. Surprise punch. One day I'll go to Japan. Trust me. Trust the process. Don't believe in me? I don't give a fuck. Hope y'all enjoyed. Please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. It's right there. It's right next to the like. It's like, let's say, four inches away. It's free. Does it cost any money? I'll see you guys next time. Shit.